If you got a dream, you got to protect it. Yeah, I'm going to say that again. If you have a dream, then you got to protect it, man. There are so many ways that your dream will slowly disappear. And it's without you even realizing it. And those dreams, they're not going to reappear until you're on your deathbed. And you're going to be regretting that you didn't take better care of that dream. So first off, anything or anyone that disrespects your dream needs to be cut out of your life. You got friends talking bad about your dream? Gone. You got negative family members? Get rid of them. You got one life, and just like that cell phone in your hand right now, that battery is going to die. And every minute, it gets closer and closer. So let me ask you this. How bad do you want it? How bad do you want your dream to come true? And let me guess, you're really good at planning out how it's going to get done. But you don't have enough time, you don't have enough money, and you don't know the right people. Well, you don't this, you don't that, you just don't. And that's all excuses created in your mind. And if you don't believe me, then check this little story out. I come up to you and I say, hey, my company just got bought out by Google. And they're moving me and my team to California. They got us a private jet. They got us a mansion with the Lamborghinis in the garage. I need you to get ready. Because in three days, our new life is starting. And oh yeah, you're now the CEO. What? Yeah. Every single one of you would start getting on the phone, calling your girlfriends, quitting your job, packing your bags, and getting ready for the good life. And that's exactly my point. When you got a guarantee, you're all in. Well, let me tell you this. Your dreams are a guarantee. You just got to go all in. You put in the effort. You change your life. You stop wasting time and drop everything and fully commit. And start believing in your guaranteed dream. Now let me get real with you. It ain't going to happen overnight. You're going to spend nights awake working on your dream. You will cry heavy tears of pain and frustration. Taking care of this dream is harder than taking care of a baby. All your money, gone. All your free time, gone. But it's not going to matter. Your dream will grow and the joy you will receive from creating nothing into something is a feeling of accomplishment that you won't ever be able to describe. You're a warrior. You got patience. You're not a quitter. And you cannot be stopped. And best of all, you got a guarantee. Every day, you're making progress. Now that sounds a little strange, am I right? Every day you're making progress. I bet you're thinking, man, Addison, what are you talking about? I am not anywhere close to being a millionaire. In fact, last year I was richer than I am this year. What are you talking about? Every day I'm making progress. Oh, you don't believe me? Well, let me tell you this. If you got a day off from work and all you did that day was eat junk food and watch Netflix, then you know what you just did? You just added a little bit more fat to your body. And if that was your goal to gain more weight, you're making progress. Next time, eat two bags of Cheetos instead of one. You got this progress. Well, then you say, whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't want to be fat. I want to be strong and ripped. Oh, that's what you want. Well, your actions speak differently. Because you for damn sure know you ain't losing 10 pounds and getting a six pack after binge watching Game of Thrones. And I know you'll see commercials selling you on fitness equipment telling you, hey, only 10 minutes a day and you'll look like those Instagram models. But what they don't tell you is it's not the fancy equipment, it's what's inside your mind that makes you want to change. You can buy thousands of dollars worth of fitness equipment, but only you can decide how much progress you want. Now apply that to every single thing that you want in life. You want to be a better singer? Then sing more. You want a better position at your job? Then work harder. You want to be a millionaire? You save. Easier said than done, right? But listen to me carefully. If you do what is easy in life, then you will have a hard life. 
but if you do what is hard in life, you will have an easy life. You still don't believe me, all right. You just found out that you got a new cavity in your teeth and the doctor says it's $500, but you take the easy route by not brushing your teeth. You ignore the phone calls when your dentist calls and a few months later, you get a shooting pain in your jaw and the dentist now says you gotta pay $2,000 for a root canal. This happens all the damn time and it's the worst, it sucks. And if you would have taken the hard path in the beginning, you would have made your life a lot more easier. You got something special right now. You're connecting the dots. You are seeing the bigger picture and you are putting the armor on. You are becoming intelligent. Now all you gotta do from now on is ask, how will this situation progress my life? Will it go in the direction I want my future to be? Or will it take me down a path filled with stress and regret? It comes down to your choice. Take the hard path. When something in life comes easy, be wary. Because the best views are the hardest climbs. You will not get what you want without giving up a piece of yourself and putting in the hard work.